Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Sunday. Welcome back. I hope you're having a good weekend. So excited about today's video because I have some new Kringle candle um, fragrances to preview with you guys. And these are some of the new fragrances that are going to be released on March 1st on the Kringle website. I will put a link for Kringle in the description box down below. I will also put a uh, discount code that you can use if you want to save 15% on any of these new fragrances. Um, the, the discount code is an affiliate discount code, so please don't use that if you're not comfortable with something like that, but it will save you some extra money on these new candles. And um, as you guys are aware, I am a Kringle ambassador, and one of the perks that they made available to us for this newest release, which I really love that they did this, they allowed us to pre-order and purchase the new scents that were coming out in advance of the release. So I was able to send an order in to my contact at Kringle and say, hey, these are the things I want to buy. And um, they offered them up to us so that we could have them and share our thoughts before they actually launched on the website. So um, I really appreciate them doing that. And I picked out four of the uh, this is for of the two wick soy formula. So this jar right here and also five of the country candle. You might be kind of surprised that I got some of the country candle because I, I don't love paraffin wax. It's, it's not really my thing. I do love the two wick soy formula, the very most when it comes to Kringle, but man, you guys, some of these scents that are coming out in the country candle line are just, mwah, they are heavenly. So many great fruity and like fruity drink scents. Like it just, a lot of these candles scream summertime. I am not a summertime person. <laughs> I really love the fall. I love the winter. Give me cold, give me dreary rain and I am at my happiest. But um, I do really enjoy and appreciate sweet, fruity, summery scents and um there's some great ones in here so i'm so excited to share my first thoughts with you guys i have the official fragrance uh descriptions um i'll also tell you guys the other scents that i chose not to pre-order um i may still order maybe one or two more that i was kind of interested in once they're released and then obviously I'll share my thoughts about those with you guys as well. So um, yeah, I have five of the country candles and four of the um, two wick soy. Sir, get off. Sorry. Alf is in the room with me, you guys, and I am just trying to keep him from killing himself by falling off this furniture. Please stop. <laughs> He's so crazy. Okay. Let us get into it. Um, again, check out that description box. These are going to be released on March 1st. So I have not burned any of these. They literally just came in the mail. We're going to get started with, with a couple of cereal candles. So two of the candles that are coming out in this new spring lineup are Marshmallow Morning and Fruit and Flakes. I've never been a big fan of like cereal scents per se, but these two I knew I could not pass up. So we're, I can't really pick my favorite between the two. And again, this is just cold sniff. So I have not burned these. I'm going to assume that the burn quality is what I am used to when it comes to the two wick soy formula. So that's all I can tell you on that right now. I'm actually going to start with the fruit and flakes because this reminds me of my go-to middle school and high school breakfast that I had almost every single day of my life before getting on the bus to go to school. I was a child that loved either Lucky Charms, <laughs> love me some Lucky Charms still, or I loved plain cornflakes with bananas and the 2% milk that my mom loved to buy. Oh man, that breakfast, for whatever reason, just always got me ready for the day, made me feel like I was doing a good thing for my body. You know, I was like, oh, I'm not eating the sugary cereal. <laughs> Look at me being so healthy, right? 
I had the metabolism for it back then. I should have taken advantage of more of those like Lucky Charms mornings than I did, but whatever. Anyway, you guys, the fruit and flakes smells like the breakfast of champions that I used to eat when I was in high school. Let me give you guys the actual description. Um, and then I'll tell you what I get to my nose on cold sniff. Fruit and flakes. Berries, bananas, cinnamon, oh my. Breakfast is served with this sweet and savory fragrance. You can almost taste it. And you can. You can almost taste this. Get out of here. It smells like cornflakes. It smells like a freshly sliced banana. And then there's a creaminess running through this, which I'm assuming is kind of that, like, milk component to the cereal. You want to smell it? Oh my god, he's so cute. He's actually smelling it. <laughs> Does it smell like food, sir? Here, I gotta show you guys this dog. He's so cute. He's just sitting here being a good boy, smelling candles with his mom. Um, I'm so lucky. <laughs> what a good boy. Um, yeah, I, do, I don't really get much cinnamon from this. I get um, I get that cereal, like that cornflake cereal note. I get freshly cut banana slices. This is sweet, but it's not overly sweet. It just, it's, it smells like my breakfast and I love it. Where did I put the lid? Oh, right here. I'll be getting more of this because this just, this just takes me back. You know, fragrance definitely has this ability to take people back in time in terms of like being a memory trigger. That is a huge memory trigger to me. And not that I had like the best time in middle school and high school. It was a little awkward. Um, but yeah, it just... I don't know. It takes me back to my youth, and that's a, a great thing, right? Like, oh, to be young <laughs> and free of all the aches and pains. Okay, my second favorite cereal of all time, uh, besides the cornflakes and uh, banana combo over here, is Lucky Charms. And Marshmallow Morning is basically Lucky Charms. So let's read the scent notes. Uh, this nostalgic scent will take you back to early mornings, picking through your favorite magically, terrifically terrific cereal to find uh, all the colorfully delicious marshmallows. And di okay, so did you eat the marshmallows first or did you eat like the like cereal part first? I liked to save my marshmallows for last. So I ate all of the cereal first and then my last several bites would be the leftover overly sweetened milk and delicious gooey marshmallows, which by that point had absorbed a little bit of water. So they had this like weird kind of gelatinous, but still hard in the middle texture. Mm. You guys, this smells so good. It smells like Lucky Charms, but a little different. There's something else in this that I can't really pick up based off of like these scent notes, but you definitely get like that grain cereal note in here and that little bit of like a there was some like sugary glaze over that as well wasn't there there's just there's a definite sweetness to this one the marshmallow is for sure a predominant note in this but it's not your typical marshmallow it's definitely like the lucky charms marshmallows which just different texture than regular marshmallows and a slightly different smell. This one, um, I maybe get like a, like a, actually a tiny touch of cinnamon in here. And a nuttiness. There's a nuttiness to this that's really, really interesting. It's delicious. It doesn't smell exactly like Lucky Charms, but if you were to stick your nose in this and say, guess what cereal this is, you would probably immediately say Lucky Charms, even though it's not like a dead on dupe. It's so close to it. I actually like that nutty note that's in here. Um, I think that's really, really interesting. Let's keep going. All right. Wasn't super sure about this, but glad that I have it because it's actually quite lovely. This is Essentials. Also, I don't know if you guys can tell. These labels, so these labels are a little different. It looks like the background is textured. The label itself is not textured, it's smooth but the background looks like it has like a, almost like a canvas type texture. I really like this direction that the artwork is going. Um, it just, these look painted. Like, can you guys see that? They're so interesting looking. I really like that. So let's talk essentials. 
Um, start your day with the uplifting combination of grapefruit, peach, and bergamot to invigorate and enliven your sentence. S sentence? Senses? <laughs> Words. Okay. I really, what appealed to me here was the grapefruit and the peach combo. I thought that would be really interesting. This smells like something that I've had in the past and like in terms of home fragrance. It, I wish I could put my finger on what it is, but I, I cannot for the life of me remember. But there's something that I've had in the past that smells like this and it's triggering memories for me and... But I cannot for the life of me remember what it, it had to have been a candle or some kind of home fragrance product in the past. It doesn't smell like a cleaning supply product or anything like that. But something about it just smells very familiar to me. This has a lovely grapefruit note. There is no bitterness from the grapefruit. And I think the sweetness of that peach scent really sort of tones down that grapefruit a little bit. It's really, really nice in terms of ber bergamot. Sorry, he's got something in his mouth and now I have to go fishing. Oh, no, maybe he doesn't. Oh, gross. Slobber for no reason. Um, yeah, the bergamot that's in here is really quite a nice addition. I don't typically love bergamot, but it's in here. It's lighter. It's not the entire fragrance. A lot of times bergamot, I feel like, takes over when it's used in home fragrance. This is just a really nice kind of background addition. This is really more about that grapefruit and the peach. This is very fresh, very clean. This would be a great summertime morning fragrance, I feel like. It's just really, really pretty. And the other one that I wasn't 100% sure about, but it definitely intrigued me based on the scent notes, is Beautiful Day. Also, this label I thought was really pretty. Um, not that you should ever just buy a candle um, for the label, but a lot of times I pick my wine out based on label, and sometimes that's a good decision. So I thought I would apply that to this situation and see what we come away with. And we come away with something really nice that once again is a trigger for me of something else. And I think what this kind of reminds me of a little tiny bit is actually Scentsy's Aloe Water and Cucumber. If you've ever smelled that, this has a very similar fragrance, uh, like story to it. They're very, very similar. So the notes in this one are, where, where are you at? Oh, here you are. Okay. Wake up to the warmth of golden amber as the sun touches your skin and energizes yourself with hints of ripe guava and lemon zest as you gaze out the window manifesting the beautiful day ahead. Okay, first off, these notes, they kind of throw me off because like I said, this smells so similar to aloe water and cucumber from Scentsy. Um, but if you're really going to break it down, I do think the guava is definitely something that I can smell. Um, it's definitely like a, like a slight sweet tropical fruit vibe. The lemon zest. I don't, I don't really know that I pick up lemon in this. It smells so much like aloe water and cucumber, you guys. I, mm, if you have that, if you have aloe water and cucumber and you pick this one up, will you send me a message uh, here on YouTube, Instagram, wherever, and let me know if you think there's a comparison between the two because that's really, that's just really what this triggers in me is that particular comparison. But in terms of like the scent notes, yeah, no. I mean, I just really don't get anything lemon at all. The guava, I can see, but the lemon, no. It's lovely. Whatever it is, it's delicious. And it's going to go in my downstairs bathroom because I actually have aloe water and cucumber going in there right now. And that would be wonderful to have in addition to that. Hi, sir. He's so cute. He's now sitting on the floor. All right, you guys, let me pull up the, uh, mm, I don't even know where to start here. So I'm just going to grab something pink. These are the country candles that I decided to snag and be able to test out. So this is Dragon Fruit Lemonade 
Uh, if you watch my Instagram stories, you know I have a little bit of a thing for dragon fruit right now. They're selling it at Costco, at least at my Costco, and I love it. I love dragon fruit. It's so delicious. If you can, if you have access to dragon fruit regularly, you're so lucky. I would eat that every single day of my life. It's so good. So the notes for the dragon fruit lemonade are... Dragon Fruit Lemonade is a tropical burst of dragon fruit and pineapple refreshment with citrus, coconut, and floral blossoms. Our recipe is the essence of summer. Well, I would agree with that for sure. First of all, this the predominant note is dragon fruit. So the dragon fruit that I've been eating is yellow, which I hear is slightly different from the pink dragon fruit. Um, the yellow dragon fruit has almost, it's like a tropical sweet. It, it's so hard to explain this particular fruit. You almost have to taste it. But the sweetness that comes along with the dragon fruit, at least the yellow one, is like a honey type of sweetness. It's not like a sh white sugar sweetness. It's definitely honey. And I get that in here. Gosh, it's mostly that dragon fruit note, you guys. I don't get much in the way of floral, but coconut I do. It's almost like a creamy coconut milk that I'm smelling. It's not suntan lotion. It's definitely coconut milk. Citrus? I don't know. Maybe, maybe a touch of like lemon juice, like a really sweetened lemon juice. I, I, it's just mostly dragon fruit, you guys. If you like dragon fruit, you should try this. It's really, really delicious. I hope these burn um, well. What do you have? Oh, you're chewing on a toy. Okay, we're good. Sorry. With puppies, and he's almost not a puppy anymore. He's almost a year old, but he is one of those dogs that, like, he's like a toddler. You're constantly getting things out of his mouth. You're telling him not to touch things. It's so obnoxious. Sunday Fun Day wasn't entirely sold on this at first, and then I thought, it's probably going to be good. Try it. It's really good. I love this as much as I love that dragon fruit. Man, I wish he would also make these in the soy formula, because if that were the case, I would have I would have bought them all in the soy formula. But these fragrances in this Country Candle like new lineup here are just... They're so good, you guys. Okay, let's talk Sunday Fun Day. Start your week with uh, Sunday Fun Day, uh, evoking backyard picnics with friends and family, refreshing beverages, and delightfully sweet floral and wild berry aromas. Sorry that I'm struggling a little bit with the reading. I promise I, I, am, I know how to read. <laughs> but I'm pulling this off of my phone, and it's a screenshot of a screenshot of, I think, a screenshot. So it's a little blurry, so bear with me. <laughs> These are, I don't, I don't think the fragrance descriptions are on the website quite yet, but this is so fruity. This is so fruity and fun. This has um, a lot of like sweet fruit notes. Um, they say, well, it doesn't even say, does it? No, they don't. So this to me, the fruits that I'm getting here, there's like some peach, I feel like there also might be like a little hint of like a raspberry or like a type of berry, maybe even a strawberry. I was expecting some effervescence with this. I'm not getting like a boozy vibe from this one at all. It's just kind of a combination of different fruits. It could be like a summertime cocktail, but not one of those cocktails that is heavy on like the rum or the vodka. Like you just don't get a boozy note and it just smells like like a Bellini or something without the like Prosecco note, if that makes sense. It's delicious. And once again, I feel like we need more fruity scents in the two wick soy. That's what I feel, but those are just my opinions. Okay, blueberry cream pop. I really, really love blueberry scents and this one I could not pass up. So. It's interesting though, this smells more, it's like a blueberry mixed with a grape. It's really interesting. I don't love grape flavored things. <laughs> but this type of blueberry, it's, it's kind of an artificial blueberry, I will say. But people that love grape scents, 
um, or grape blends, you're probably really going to enjoy this one. Something about grape and home fragrance always smells very artificial to me, but I also do smell blueberry in here. It's like a blueberry grape mix that leans a little more grape, and so it has that artificial grape home fragrance ness to me. <laughs> I don't love this one as much as I thought I would, but I also don't dislike it. I think it's I think it's nice. Will I purchase a bunch more? Probably not of this one. Who doesn't love a cool cream pop on a stick? Uh, or with a wick. <laughs> Fresh picked blueberries with other yummy fruits and vanilla cream. Blueberry cream pop is a must summer treat. Some of the wording on this is a little funky too, <laughs> but this one was particularly hard to read. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> I like how they're like other yummy fruits. <laughs> I that other yummy fruit would be grape. That's what that is to my nose is grape. I really wish it was mostly just blueberries and cream. It's not. You do get a creaminess, and it's uh, like in the form of like like an ice cream. There's definitely like some vanilla in the background and some nice like rich creaminess, which that vanilla roll is kind of playing there. It's really interesting. I do not dislike this. I'm not going to say that I don't like it, but it's not what I was expecting. And so I feel like I might be a little disappointed in it. But again, I think it's because I'm picking up grape to my nose and that's just not my favorite, but it's not, it's not terrible. Okay. This also takes me back to when my mom used to only buy Neapolitan ice cream and we'd always get annoyed with her because we'd be like, all we really want is the chocolate and the strawberry. We don't want this vanilla garbage. <laughs> I love vanilla now, but usually it like came with like a French vanilla flavor, which I hate French vanilla. I am a vanilla bean girl. I am not a French vanilla girl. Um, but I, I don't know why she just, she could have just bought chocolate and strawberry ice cream and that would have been great, but she always got Neapolitan. So I just thought this was kind of a hilarious um, nod to my dislike of my mom's cheap ice cream buying ways back in the day. I think she, the Neapolitan was just always on sale. And so she was like, score, we'll save a couple bucks. We'll get this. Okay. Um, the scoop on our Neapolitan Sunday is a lovely layering of sweet chocolate fudge, velvety vanilla bean, and fresh strawberry ice cream topped with whipped cream and a, and s topped, top it with whipped cream and savor every spoonful. I promise you guys I know how to read. <laughs> this smells just like Neapolitan ice cream. <laughs> it's totally that combination of like a, just a, it's almost like a milk chocolate ice cream with a somewhat, somewhat fake strawberry. Like the strawberry ice cream that came in Neapolitan ice cream was never like a real like fresh strawberry taste, right? It was kind of like that artificial strawberry and you can definitely smell that in here. And luckily it is a vanilla bean. It is definitely not French vanilla. If it was French vanilla, I don't know that I would be as much of a fan, but this really does smell like the real thing. I'm not getting the whipped cream. I'm not getting any type of like nutty topping that's implied here. It is just the milk chocolate ice cream, the somewhat fake strawberry, and then a pretty decent vanilla bean. It's, it's, it's a great scent. It's, it smells like the real thing. So if that's something that you're into, I think you're going to enjoy that one. And then the last one that I can tell you guys about, at least right now, is the Pineapple Rita, which is this guy right here. Um, I do love me some fun margarita drinks. We have a Mexican restaurant that is not far from us here that makes really, really unique, um, margarita flavors. And, uh, so I thought this might be kind of something fun and different. And, um, your scent notes here are poolside or beach. I think that says beachside. I wish I could show you guys how blurry it's so blurry. It's really hard to read. Enjoy pineapple Rita reminiscent of a margarita with a, with a boast of 
flavorful fruits, cilantro, and sweet, I think it's earthy accents. Man, that's really bad. This is so interesting. I, I don't know what this smells like. <laughs> I cannot really compare it to anything other than it kind of reminds me a little bit of cleaning products. This is like something that either Mrs. Myers or Method, the, the cleaning supply companies, would turn into like a seasonal scent. That's what I think when I smell this. It's not bad, but I don't think it smells like a margarita to me. This has a lot of that cilantro. That like herbal cilantro note is quite powerful in here. Um, it's really the first thing I smell. Second would be the pineapple. And then there's like, there's this base note that I cannot put my finger on. It's really interesting. This smells, I would say like six, maybe even like six, yeah, I would say like 60% herbal cilantro. with the majority after that being pineapple. And there's a little something else in here. Maybe it's these sweet earthy accents. I don't know, it's so interesting. Um, yeah, there's almost like a little bit of a spice to this as well. I wouldn't say like habanero spice, but definitely like a like a hint of jalapeno maybe. This is another one where I'm like, I like this. I don't love this. I would I would probably not personally order more. Sorry, talking too much here for my camera. Moral of the story is I would not order more of this one, but I'm gonna burn this and see what it smells like. This may be one that I end up passing along to like my mom or something. My mom would love a scent like this. She likes those herbal clean type notes a lot more than I think I do. So anyway, those are my sneak peeks for you guys so far. The other fragrances that are going to be coming out are Watermelon Pops, Strawberry Mint Tart. I almost got the Strawberry Mint Tart, but I'm a little nervous about the mint. So, mmm maybe maybe down the road I'll try that one there's also a spiral aloe um, the other ones I shared with you guys and then when it comes to the um, four wick sorry not four wick two wick soy the ones that I did not show you are cherry tree herbal tea succulents and wisteria so those are the other fragrances that are also going to be coming out and um, those will be available on March 1st as well. So let me know if you have any questions at all. If you need any clarifications, uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you are most excited about. And um, I hope that this was helpful. Um, I know that uh, it's kind of hard to really recommend something without even having burned it first, like first impression sniffs, some people don't really like those because a fragrance can really change once you light it but I thought at least the first sniffs might be helpful for you guys in placing your orders and if you normally like the same things that I do hopefully this helps you again make some decisions on what you can cut or maybe what you actually want to add into your cart so um, once again thank you for taking the time to watch I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next one take care